everybody welcome back to the channel the stock market sold off again today now the main question is will it sell off again tomorrow we're going to be breaking that down thoroughly in today's video i'm also going to be sharing with y'all some stocks that y'all should be keeping in your watch list for the next few days now before i begin again do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in and also don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to the channel right so let's Let's get right into it right off the bat. Um, we got the spy. We're gonna go over to the spy first. All right. And in in yesterday's video, I told y'all that again the CPI data was coming out, and that the expectation was supposed to be super bearish. Well, the market makers did the complete opposite of what I was expecting. I'm going to use the ash. I'm actually going to use the Nasdaq because it would be. It'll make more sense. All right, so we got the Nasdaq will be here. We got this structure, which is which I still yet to form completely, right? So what I was expecting for the CPI data, at least the the reaction to it, we know that the expected number was around eight point three to eight point five, and it actually came out to like to be at eight point five percent, um, compared to last year March. Now. The reaction that I was expecting was this. We drop first, right? All the way down here. And then we bounce, kind of like what this line is showing you right here. But what the market makers did is do the complete opposite where it opens up higher, right? And then drops like this. And I think it's going to go all the way through. Um, it's a little bit green right now, but I think that tomorrow, it's going to stall and then it's actually going to hit $13,700 for the NASDAQ. All right. And then at that moment, a lot of buyers will step in. It will make, it will make, um, visual sense. If you look at this chart and somebody may argue that what if it is already at support? What if this right here? right there is support instead of that little wig right there. So it really depends on your preference. I like to just focus on like the the, the wick itself instead of the body of the candle. It's, it's just, in my experience, it's just, it's more, uh, it's better for me. It kind of removes any, any uncertainty when I see a specific structure when I trade. So I like using the candle wakes itself all right now with the way this is looking i think we i think we collapse um i think we collapse so definitely watch for that and don't be if, if you're short on the market just be ready for those buyers to step in over here right now um let's talk about let's talk about one stock that y'all should be keeping on your watch list for tomorrow that one is a little bit it's a little bit tricky it's actually Twitter, all right. Oh, actually, wait, 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 let's let's go back. I almost forgot one thing. We gotta look at what actually happened. Yes, the market did the complete opposite, but there was actually a clue that this was a nasty um, green to red move. And if you look at the five minute, yeah, if you zoom in over here, first the move was positive, right? And then there was the bull trap right here. And then it did this, um, it did this head and shoulders right over here, right there. So we got the left shoulder, we got the head and then we got the right shoulder in a moment that I saw it, I kind of, I thought it was just a descending triangle, like right over here. It started breaking out at like 1129 ish. So this is the way I kind of saw it, but now that I see it, it's, it's in reality, it is a head and shoulder. So um, it just kept dropping and dropping ever since that point. And it also offered some like day trading opportunities intraday to a lot of stocks. And the stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list for tomorrow is Twitter. All right. And starting off with Twitter, again, as I've mentioned, there was day trading opportunities and there was one on Twitter today as well. And on a lot of stocks, um, not just Twitter. So we got this one right here, the descending triangle on Twitter. It broke down right 
here at like 4550 and then dropped all the way to 4450 and i think that it's going to go a little bit lower given that i am slightly given that i am partially bearish on the market as if how we're gonna open but i think this one might might take a little bit more of a hit because of if you look at the daily right here we got that gap that has yet to be filled we have seen this type of move before on google yeah google made this move before and faded right into that gap and for those of y'all who haven't seen that let me just go on let me just go on the one and then look up google all right let me show you all right quick for those of y'all who may be starting with the market if you're beginners i'm talking about i'm talking about this move right here right so it jumps and then it just fades and fades and fades and fades obviously this gap is not as big as twitter's but you get the points and even with the 9 sma over here it still went right through all the way down and really filled that gap so um with twitter i expect no difference I expect this thing to actually keep falling all the way into like all the way down to $40. So definitely keep this one on your watch list. All right. Now, another stock that we're going to address in today's video, we're going to talk about Apple. All right. Now, with Apple today, again, this one a little bit more resilient than a lot of the other stocks out there, even the SPY. The SPY kind of dropped all the way down to like this level on the SPY, right? But Apple, Apple went up a little bit and I'm pretty sure it was just to fill that gap. It's a very tiny gap right here, right there. All right, before potentially fading again. So I'm not completely like, I'm not, I'm not totally bullish on Apple. So be really, really careful. Worst case scenario, it just drops, right? Um, and the other, the other worst case scenario is that it just chops and goes nowhere. Like we want, we want some action on this thing. We wanted to make a specific decision, right? So for for this one, I would just tell you to watch for intraday opportunities on not just Apple but just the overall market. All right, and that is. The end of the video again do not forget to annihilate the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel a lot and allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on future uploads if you'd like to be part of a private discord community you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one.